in Sonic Adventure 2, the Chow Garden was something that was very, very special. Obviously, it didn't start in Adventure 2, it started in Adventure 1, but Adventure 2 in particular for me was very special because it gave me something I never knew that I liked. Simulator type of games. Taking care of the Chow was just something that was extremely fun and rewarding. It made you go out in the levels and get rings so you can buy items for the Chow, pick up the chaos drives, animals, and all bring it back to the Chow and level up your Chow. It honestly was a genius side activity to put into a Sonic game. It has a similar appeal of Pokemon where you get these little animals and get to use them and take care of them. And it's honestly overall genius. And obviously the Chow Garden has been missing for many, many years since Sonic Adventure 2. Literally the last game I remember seeing them in was Team Sonic Racing. A group of Chow were playable. I just don't get why Sonic Team doesn't understand Chow Garden's mass appeal. Even turning it into a solo mobile game would do wonders for the community. But now we're here in Sonic Frontiers and there have been whispers about Chow and there is some evidence I think of Chow likely being in this game. Now it may or may not be the case as we know there is a new creature, the Cocos. And if I'm being quite honest, I don't like the Cocos so far. I don't think they look cute or cool or anything they just they're tombstones but maybe that'll change when i actually play the game and see them you know those little things running around rolling around i don't know we'll see but right now they are no child in me so hopefully they're still child in the game and also we know that the cocos are for upgrading sonic skill tree rather than being like a, a type of pet but before we hop into it hey i see you there you guys keep coming back i see you since you keep on coming back why don't you guys hit the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of reaching 20k as soon as possible all right we're starting out lightly with the evidence first piece of evidence one of the producers of the game is the creator of the chow garden her name is sachiko kawamura and on SonicFandom.com, she has her own page with all of her credits. It says, she's a designer and artist for Sega's Sonic Team. She's well known for creating the Chow and designing the gameplay of the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, in conjunction with Yoshihisa Hashimoto. She worked once again with Hashimoto to redefine Sonic's look and feel for Sonic Unleashed. Now, just because she made the Chow Garden and did all this, that doesn't mean she's automatically going to add Chow Garden to the game because she's honestly just worked mostly as an artist, but because she's a producer this time around, she can have more of a say and implement Chow Garden because she actually came up with the whole thing. So I would say this is the first checkbox. If Chow Garden's coming back, it's coming back through the lead designer of the Chow Garden. As for the second checkbox, which I don't think this is the biggest piece of evidence either, but I would say this is probably a nice little hint. Ian Flynn, who we know is a type of writer on this game, not sure exactly the role. They say he's writing dialogue. Some people say he's still writing the story. He's a writer of some sort on Frontiers. Ian Flynn says, from a Tales Channel article, they say writer Ian Flynn drops references to other games like Sonic saying that Kronos Island would be a great place for a Chow Garden. So in game, Sonic references Chow Chow Garden. But I actually have somewhat of a theory of how Chow Garden's gonna work in Sonic Frontiers if it really is in the game. But before we get into that, I'm gonna drop the last piece of evidence. But this evidence is obviously very debatable. And this comes from a leak. I know what you're thinking, ah, here we go, a leak. But the thing with this leak is actually accurate. This leak dropped on May 29th. Sonic Frontiers gameplay wasn't even revealed yet. And this leak talked about Sage, revealing the Sage character that we all know talking about how she's a chibi ghost girl, or hologram girl, as we saw. It tells us about Amy, Tails, and Knuckles, the three characters we know that exist. I also have some story details talking about the story, but I won't talk about that. But the game also mentioned Shadow in a battle mode, and it also talked about Chow Garden. The shop for the Chow Garden lets you buy some attire for Sonic, some other characters in battle mode. So this leak straight up mentions Chow Garden. But again, what makes this leak credible is it leaked the whole thing with Sage, and even the design of the character. It described her design accurately with her being a little chibi character. And if everything else is right, it's possible that the Chow Garden stuff can also be right in this leak. So these three pieces of evidence are all evidence of Chow Garden probably existing in Sonic Frontiers. Now, the way I think it'll work in Sonic Frontiers is I think it'll actually work like cyberspace. Chow Garden might have its own cyberspace portal where you can actually go to like a miniature pocket dimension or something where the Chow are residing. Because we know there's a voice line in the game where Sonic says Kronos Island would be a great place for Chow. So maybe there is an unlockable Chow Garden that you can get in Kronos Island. Or maybe Sonic's just saying that. But the fact is, Sonic mentioning Chow Garden is kind of crazy in the first place. 
But those are the pieces of evidence and that's my little theory. What do you guys think? Do you think Chow Garden is going to appear in the game? Or do you think it could come later as some kind of DLC pack that they could do for Sonic Frontiers after they finish the full game? Either way, I think a Chow Garden DLC would be something I would be very interested in. Obviously, if it was supposed to be in the game in the first place, that would be a little upsetting. But if it's like a true afterthought and something they decide to do later, if it's not truly in the game, I'd be a thousand percent down for some Chow Garden DLC. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys excited to potentially see Chow Garden? Or are you on Team Coco or Chow don't even mean anything to you anymore? But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh well, whatever happens, happens.